The murders of Patrick Shun and Monique Patnote sparked an international manhunt in 2016. If convicted, John Reed could face life in prison for two counts of aggravated first degree murder. A large part of the case against 55 year old John Reed is built on physical evidence. Today, police testified about what they discovered in a remote wooded area. There was more blood present than uh, you would expect. Detective David Fontenot focused on the two vehicles belonging to the victims, Patrick Shun and Monique Patnode. Police found the Jeep and Land Rover dumped down a steep ravine in a wilderness area behind the couple's Oso home. Shun and Patnode at the time were missing. This is not an expected amount of blood, so this, this really catapulted us uh, to the next level. This has every indication uh, that some sort of violence uh, occurred at this location and someone was bleeding there and it was Patrick Shun. As distressing as the photos were to the couple's family members, Reed showed little emotion. Prosecutors believe he shot and killed Patnode and Shun at close range over a land dispute and hid the cars and their bodies with the help of his brother, Tony Reed, setting off a massive manhunt that entangled the rest of the Reed family and led police to Mexico, where authorities captured the defendant. Today, they showed the jury the tools used to hide the cars, along with Pat Note's driver's license and bloodied evidence found nearby, building a case against a man who prosecutors believe is a cold-blooded murderer. Tony Reed eventually turned himself in and led police to the location of the couple's bodies. He's expected to testify as early as this week. John Reed's attorney says this was in self-defense, and he plans to allow his client to take the stand to share his side of the story. In Everett, Alyssa Hahn, King 5 News.